Alrighty, day, <laughs> I'm just kidding, day, day, I don't know, don't know, um, let's just talk about the month of May, huh, let's just talk about the month of May, I'm back on it, back on it. I honestly don't know what has been the last couple of months. It seems like uh, beginning of the year, I was just like really onto something, feeling a lot of momentum. Hate to come off like a broken record and repeat the things that I've said in the past, um, but you know, I'm only just making observations. But yeah, beginning of the year, 2023, I just was like feeling in the flow and uh, a lot of focus, momentum, enthusiasm about my creative pursuits. Long story short, this is the calmest and the clearest that I have felt since February and we're in May. So just tracing it back, February I was chasing a 5% body fat. I didn't succeed. That still bothers me. Right now I'm 207-ish, preparing for a rave in August with my roommate. We have this thing going called Hard Summer 4.0, whereas uh, last year, I went to hard summer <laughs> at around this weight, um, but now the, the goal is to go to this outdoor music festival as shredded as possible and celebrate the success of that. But apart from that, understanding that I might only be capable of focusing on one major project at a time still acknowledging that there are plenty of things that I need to see movement on uh, in order to consider this year a success. There are creative endeavors that really do need to be worked on consistently in order to make any sort of progress in uh, my overall goals. What are the goals? Let's, let's just say them out loud and continue to say them out loud so that we can hold myself accountable uh, for the things that I want to get done in this life. I think the problem is that if I were to die tomorrow, having not achieved uh, my, let me scratch that. If I were to die tomorrow, having not realized my full potential, I'd be okay because deep down, Actualizing my potential in reality does not equate to the love and passion that I have for my actual self. I suppose the best way to break it down is I have the desire to actualize my fullest potential in reality, but at the same time, I feel that myself is already actualized. And getting to 5%, becoming wealthy, becoming successful, making it in the pursuits that I've outlined for myself, that's just reality's perception of actualizing myself but on the inside, I've already done it. And I continued, I mean, understanding that, oh man, it's like, where does the motivation come from? If there's no burning desire, and I've already posted, I think my last video was talking about this. It's like, if there's no burning desire, if I'm not waking up with this, with this uh, unquenchable, hunger, which doesn't really 
makes sense, unquenchable hunger, but like this unwavering desire to achieve and show the world what I'm capable of, show me what I'm capable of. If I'm not waking up with that every single day, then where's it gonna come from? If I'm already satisfied, not even satisfied, if I'm already in belief that I am who I say I am and that the only thing that prevents me from getting shit done is the knowledge that I can do it and it just requires a higher level of effort that I have not yet been willing to commit to on a consistent basis when times get hard when my workload increases and all of a sudden instead of just rolling with the punches and you know leveling up to support myself in a situation where things are more difficult than initially anticipated I crumble and I go backwards and I say listen you've already succeeded you're you you don't have to do anything beyond being you but saying that out loud and hearing it we have to acknowledge that that's bullshit and that to die having not strived for excellence every single moment that would be a true loss and a real failure so again the 5% was never achieved understanding that it's not something that's sustainable but there is something that looms over my head as a goal that has not been crossed off so we must continue that pursuit what else I have a podcast series I'm going to be taping another episode on that a website to finalize and have go live the way of the shred offering online consultations helping other individuals chase their physical peak and other goals an ebook something else that I want to work on in the month of May with the desire to be able to provide for myself outside of my day job to be self-employed these are the things that we want to do these are the things to work on and it really is just that simple what could prevent me from succeeding self-talk self-talk consisting of I'm already enough I don't have to do the hard work to get the results that I want because the results won't mean anything at the end of the day there is no happiness to obtain that's existing outside of me but we can't ignore that feeling of accomplishment when we cross a goal or a project off the list I've experienced that feeling before and it is one of the best feelings I've ever felt so let's just keep that in mind 208 207 ish probably at like um, I don't know Twelve percent. We got some weight to lose over the next three to four months, among other things, among other things. At some point, I got to figure out how I can help you guys. And it starts with helping myself. I think I want to do 
I want to put more emphasis on uh, the topic of coming out of your shell. For the introverts out there watching this, acknowledging myself as one and understanding what's occurring mentally and how it's being perceived outwardly so far as uh, being less of an introvert uh, in present time, how people are receiving me differently and uh, the general consensus that I'm more confident when it comes to social interactions. Yeah, I would like to spend more time overall getting into that. Because for the introverts out there, I think I will have to say that uh, to be an introvert and to indulge in those um, solipsistic, isolated qualities or personality traits is to cut oneself off uh, from a whole world of experiences that you could have if you weren't so goddamn introverted. Now, I'm not saying that those experiences that you are restricting yourself from having are life changing or are essential to your uh, overall story of life. But for those people that are into variety and stimulation, uh, creating different experiences for yourself might be something worth considering. I see my future more and more clearly as time passes. Before, in the past, um, my desire when it came to interacting with people was typically provide me the thing that I can't provide myself, which is why I most oftentimes found myself wanting to talk to women um, with the intention of having sex with them because I can't have sex with myself. And so me being attracted to the opposite sex, that was the main reason for why I would talk to women basically for the majority of my adult life. Whenever I would go to an encounter, get invited out, go to a birthday party, do a play, do anything, I would find myself in that environment, in that scenario, looking for an opportunity to have that specific interaction with another person. Now I'm in my 30s, I'm 31 now, and yeah, that is still a thing that I like doing and it's still a thing that I am a big fan of, um, but I don't know, I suppose with age comes the perspective that there are other things to do with people, other ways to have a good time, other ways to connect and uh, enjoy the company of someone else other than yourself. I'm still getting the hang of it because I really do still enjoy my company um, more than others. <laughs> what I mean to say is I enjoy my company over that of perhaps someone else in the same vicinity. If I had to spend my, my time with me or someone else, you get what I'm saying. But I'm coming around. I, I see the corner, I see the bend, and I'm acknowledging that like, yeah, I can have fun with you guys. I can have fun with women and dudes. It doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to be for um, that level of uh, physical pleasure, which is what sex is to me, just physical pleasure. Um, it can be stimulating in other ways. I can help people and that can be a version or a, a type of experience to have with other people. I can dance. I can go dancing with people. I can have conversations with someone that I wouldn't normally have a conversation with because I don't see the outcome being the thing that I want it to be. So yeah, the topic of introversion and how to open up
if you are one, is something I definitely want to explore in future content. Along with getting fucking shredded. More to come. Let's finish this once and for all. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.